Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Against the Year. In this video, we're going to make some sort of a basic setup to connect uh, an NE probe library by Daniel Shovel to uh, an existing chess engine. Well, obviously, I would be using BBC chess engine I'm currently working on, but again, like uh, the techniques and the method of how to embed this NE support uh, to a chess engine might be applied to whatever chess engine. And especially this one video in particular uh, could be followed absolutely from the beginning and to the very end because uh, it would be kind of engine agnostic. The next video would already be uh, relying on a particular uh, chess engine Im implementation like uh, how it's done in BBC in my case, but I would be emphasizing every time when something is engine specific or engine agnostic respectively. So without further ado, let's actually start. Uh, the very first thing to consider, uh, well actually uh, here, uh, I just want to up, uh, update this page. So by default, uh, no neural network file is loaded. So first we need to go here. Uh, I was at Stockfish Evaluation Guide. So the link would have been in the description. Uh, so go into the NNE tab. Uh, and I want to grab this network. Uh, okay. So now the network is getting downloaded. It's uh, up to 21 megabytes uh, long. So, well, I don't have that fast internet, but so we have to wait a little bit until it's done, basically. But anyway, okay, now it's done. Perfect. So now we already have this network here. And just to make sure that uh, the score we would be getting uh, in uh, in our chess engine uh, is the same as we are having here in Stockfish Evaluation Guide. We'll need to load this file, and here we got the evaluation, say, for the initial position. So, just to give an idea how it's working. Okay, good. So, uh, the next thing to, con to consider uh, I actually need to download the NNU probe library by, uh, written by Daniel Shevel. And again, like the current. Uh, the current restriction is it doesn't yet support uh, uh, Windows Crest compilation. While well, I'm not sure whether it can be compiled with a MinGV GW uh, GCC compiler on Windows natively or not. So you can test that and let me know in the commentaries. But anyway, uh, uh, after this tutorial, uh, well, not this one in particular, but uh, after end of this series, uh, I will make sure to provide the Windows compatibility. Well, at least for a BBC chess engine using this NNE probe library and NNE technology in general. So uh, you can either download zip or I'm using this git clone command to uh, actually already have one, but just to show you the entire process. So I want to git clone. Oh my God, what have I done? Git clone like this. I'm not going to be compiling this library uh, to make it a library. Instead, I will just grab the source files. So just copy them. And in my uh, in my working directory, so here, open terminal. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, we will need terminal as well, but I actually want to open the folder first. So I want to create a new folder called NNUE, and I want to paste uh, files here. Now we need to link this files uh, to get it compiled along with our, mm, our along with our engine. Uh, but apart from that, uh, we'll create a couple more files. Uh, actually, we'll create a file uh, to wrap the library functions. And uh, the reason for doing that is because the library itself, well, here in nnue.h, it uses some enumerations that have uh, the, variable, the variable name collisions with some variable uh, in my engine. So, like, I have some of the different values for rook and bishop, and uh, and again, like, uh, I, I also have the uh, colors enumeration, but uh, that, that, that also gives an error. So, in order to avoid any uh, variable name collision errors, uh, we'll, we'll provide another uh, uh, level of of wrapping the this kind of functions, so uh, I want to I want to create uh, two files. So first one, let's call this uh, nne eval dot c, 
and the second one new file and then you eval dot h so in an any eval dot h we want to include our and then we eval dot h like this and also here we want to include sorry uh, well, probably this should be done first so here also I want to include the nne nne dot h so uh, I'm literally including this header to this file so I hope that's clear so here I just want to include headers and generally what is this file all about so uh, and then you uh, wrapping functions like this so uh, I'm not going to be de declaring them just right and implementing just right at the moment. First, I just want to uh, alter the make file to make sure everything compiles and runs. And then I'll go for this definition. So now let's go to the make file. In make file, well, uh, first I want to command out the uh, Windows cross compilation because it, it doesn't work at the moment. But for all and for, for, the, for release and debug mode, uh, so obviously you have you might have your own make file with lots of files here if you have a multi-file chess engine i have the only bbc here so what i need to do uh, is the following one once uh, is the following stuff so i need also to add here uh an nuevel dot c and then uh an ne an ne dot c pp cpp okay and also I want an NUE misc dot cpp. So this should be kind of fine. Okay. So let's actually now try to compile this to make sure that there won't be any errors. So I want to say make make debug. Okay, and it's getting compiled. Good. And as far as this is working, uh, I also want to copy this stuff here as well. So to make sure that this make also kind of works. Well, it seems like, okay, good. So, well, hopefully we don't need this make file anymore, but we'll need these guys. So let's, let me command out the UCI loop and just want to initialize board position. So I want to parse FEN and I would be using the start position, which is the short card for uh, the FEN string represented the starting position like this and print the board just to give you an idea how it looks like. Well, so make debug and BBC. Okay, so this is uh, our initial setup, and now mm, uh, we're gonna be writing some probing, uh, some wrapper for probing code. Okay, so let's start with the definitions themselves. So I'm opening this in an eval.h. So this is an uh, NE uh, functions. And in the wrapper function function headers, and the first one would be initialize and then e and so just to remember how how that is called basically. Mm. So just hold on a sec. I don't need to include anything here, right? So just the definitions for functions been implemented here okay so uh, integer I just want to give it a slightly different name so here are the functions well I call it init init nne and it takes 
the file name as the pointer so character pointer file name and here we want to call an any probe lib function and this one would be so i want to call this case this one copy paste and send the file name as an argument and now i want to get direct uh, get an any score directly and int let's call it uh it's called and any evaluate so uh, i changed this to evaluate uh, evaluate and any and this one would be taken player pieces and squares okay so int player uh in pointer pieces and in pointer squares i'm not going to be diving into these details of what this arrays these pointers are well actually these are the arrays uh but uh, that would be the topic, the topic of the next video already. So here we do the same. We just need to call any probe function and an any evaluate in this in this case, right? Save and I just pass this player pieces and squares so hope no errors there okay and finally i want to get an any score from fen input so int well uh, by the way this one should be void it's not returning any, anything so here uh evaluate uh and then we let's call it fen or evaluate fen and then you like this okay and this would be taken character pointer to fen string and the function name is this one okay and just passing the fen through this is it okay so we did include an nua eval h in the c file here are the file uh, here are the definitions and okay so <laughs> i'm sorry guys uh this is actually this actually should be the content of the c file uh and it's literally enough to just I just want to grab this uh, function definitions like this so yeah I'm sorry uh, I don't know why did I why did I define the functions in in the h file the header file well in the header file we only need the function uh, function definitions and here we need the the function uh, body basically okay let's compile and run and make sure it still compiles and runs and it seems seems like it does which is good news okay so it seems like we did the preparation and okay let me just close this for, for a while and now in my engine well uh, you are free to pick up the proper way of where to include uh, this uh, any eval.h file so we want to include an any wrapper header and just say include okay
eval.h save and I really hope that from now on we can actually call this function so uh, initialize weights and how is this called copy so uh, I will just pass some gibberish insight just to make sure that the function is getting called okay perfect so the function is working just we just need to obtain the proper uh, we just need to obtain the proper weights file uh, this one that we've just downloaded so just copy it and uh, I want to paste this to the current working directory where engine lives and I also want to use the name of this uh, file as an input and if I did everything correctly it should now initialize okay perfect so we got our in any weights file being connected uh, which means that in theory well it should now be capable of uh, probing the score so let's say probe uh, probe and any score uh, via FBN input like this so you remember that we had the value of 42 in the starting position and we should uh, obtain exactly the same value here if we just call our evaluate fpn this one paste and obviously we need to print something so print F and let's say FEN so let's say score from FEN because uh, we'll uh, in the next video we'll create a function to probe an NU directly because that's faster and we would be comparing the values to make sure they always are the same so to make sure that our uh, uh, direct conversion would, would be the same uh, all the time okay so mm, I'm just yeah I think we can already run this okay <laughs> something horrible has oh oh my god I'm sorry what have I done <laughs> what have I done uh, what have I done uh, what have I done I need to pass the FEN here start position uh, okay and yeah, I forgot this decimal number okay finally thank God finally we got this so we got this score of 42 being retrieved from our NNU weights file from our chest engine which is already good news but uh, bear in mind that we can use these values directly first they, they need to, to get some scaling being applied to them because otherwise it won't be working correctly uh, <laughs> I was trying that Trust me, that doesn't work if you use, it, use them directly. And also, we need to make sure that we're using material weights because without material weights, it doesn't work as well. It just sacrifices queen in every game <laughs> after first five or six moves or things like that. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I think this is it from my side regarding this tutorial in particular. So again, like what we did obtain, we just compiled... Uh, our NNU library by David uh, by Daniel Shovel and this little wrapper for that library to connect this with, with an engine with, with whatever engine into a single executable which is good news obviously and again like I think that well whatever engine you did use you uh, I think you, you could have uh, just followed these steps because it wasn't uh, yet engine specific but starting, starting from the next video uh, I would be writing some engine specific code and uh, also uh, I will try to emphasize uh, the gist essence of how exactly we need to prepare data uh, from the chessboard to use it for direct probing of any uh, NNE uh, using this NNE probe library. So I think that will be an issue for you to alter the code for your own engine when you'll see how am I doing this with my BBC chess engine. So this is it from my side guys. I hope you learned something interesting out of this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one. Until that time and take care.